Hey what's up you guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. On this channel I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would absolutely love for you to join the Geek Guy family. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look that you just saw right here. I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Festival Collection eyeshadow palette. And before I start any of that, first I need to prime my eyelids and get my hair out of my face as per usual. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer to provide a smooth base for my eyeshadows to sit on top of. And I'm going to set that down with the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed. Powder. First, with a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to go into the shade Mumanwu and blend that out into my crease. I'm going to be using this as a major transition shade. Next, taking a flat packing precision brush, I'm going to take the shade Yuli and use that as an underbrow highlight. Then I'm going to take that fluffy blending brush again and go into the shade Oro and blend that out into my crease as well. So I'm going to get a smaller, somewhat more tighter packed blending brush and go into the shade Izafa, which is an extremely, extremely pigmented shade. And I'm going to just concentrate that into the inner and the outer corners of my eye. I'm being very careful to not take this shade up very far into my crease. I'm just trying to create a very colorful transition shade there. Taking that blending brush again, I'm going to go into the shade Irigi and take that and apply that above my transition shade as well, just to give myself a bit of a pink hue. I'm very, very lightly applying that. I'm not applying too much at all. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Ophala and concentrate that in the center of my lid to start creating a base of color for the halo eye that I'm going to create. Taking a makeup wipe, I'm going to clean up all the extra fallout under the eye so that I have a clean base for my foundation to sit on top of. Then taking the same makeup wipe, I'm creating a little bit of a blank space for the halo that I want to create in the center of my lid. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer and start cutting out the halo in the center of my eye. As you can see, I did a little bit of a trick there where I apply some concealer to the base of my eyelid and then sort of look up and it'll leave a mark as to where I need to bring the concealer up to. Does that make sense? That's just a little trick that I've discovered as to know how far up I need to apply my cut crease. Then I'm going to go into the white shade Yuli and apply that all over the base of where I applied that concealer. Next, I'm going to take a very small precision pointed brush and go into the shade Abba and start creating that blue halo. I'm not straying very, very far away from the edges of that cut halo. I'm just applying the color right on the edges there and using that small brush to blend in the pink and the blue together. It's very important to take your time in this step so as not to spray blue all over your eyeshadow look. Then I'm going to go into that red shade Izafa and start deepening up the inner and the outer corners of this look. I'm just going back and forth and deepening up the shades as I desire. Then I'm going to go into that pink shade Irigi again and redefining that color above the cut crease and very gently blending that in together. Then taking my finger, I'm redefining that shade Yuli right in the center of my lid there because I kind of lost some of it while I was reapplying that blue shade. And then cleaning up the fallout again under the eyes. Now I'm applying my base. First I'm going in with my Jericho Cosmetics Active Serum and then over the top of that I am applying my Mecca Cosmetica Smoothing Primer. And then just really pressing that into the face. Now I'm going to use my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum and applying that evenly all over the face. As you can see, it's not quite my shade. I just blended it in really well into the skin. And then I'm highlighting now with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Just really blending all of that in very, very well so as to prevent creases. It's really important to really work your concealer into the skin. 
Now I'm going to go into my LA Girl Pro Powder and then I just use this to set in all that concealer and the foundation as the foundation has somewhat of a glowy finish as well. What I didn't realize with this powder is that it would leave such a white cast on the face. If you can see some white powder still sitting all over my face, don't worry, I'm going to be fixing it up later on. I just didn't realize that how much of a white cast it would leave. Now I'm going to go into a deep brown eyeshadow and just sort of redefine my eyebrows even though they probably really didn't need them. That'll do. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel just to set that in place. And then using a fluffy brush, I'm just trying to get away all of that white cast. As you can see, it's not really working. It's such a weird powder. I will not be using that one again. Now I'm going to go into my Morphe Brontour Bronzer. And I went a little bit crazy with the bronzer because my foundation was too light for me. And then I probably went just a little bit overboard. So I blended it out again with my Beauty Blender and then reapplied again on top with a little bit more of a gentle hand this time. Uh, very aggressive with my uh, lower jawline. It looks aggressive, but I, I promise I'm not that aggressive with my face. <laughs> Next, I'm redefining that color ABBA all around the halo. It's such a beautiful, vibrant blue shade. It's so pretty. And then I noticed the white cast on my nose, so I blended it out again with the Beauty Blender and then that sort of fixed it. But I will not be using that powder again. Now I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to go into the shade Keleke and blend that out under the lower lash line with the same brush that I used to apply the blue halo. And then I'm going to go in with a fluffier blending brush into the shade Irigi again and blend that pink out under my lower lash line. Next, I'm taking my finger into the shade Yuli and using that to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And the finger wasn't good enough, so I went in with a precision pointed brush and redefined that in my inner corners and in the centers of my eyelids as well. I just wanted them to pop a little bit more. Then taking that blending brush that I used for my transition without any extra color, I just used that to blend out the edges of my eye look. I applied mascara and eyeliner off camera. Now I'm going to go into my Juvia's Place blush palette and using that to warm up the cheeks and the nose and the rest of my face too. Now I'm setting all of that in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And then before that setting spray dries, I'm going to go into the Milani Strobe Light Highlighter and use that to highlight the high points of my face. It's such a pretty highlighter, it's not chunky or glittery, it just gives the skin a really gorgeous, beautiful glow. Next, I'm lining my lips with the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner. And over the top of that, I'm using the ColourPop Cosmetics Creamy Lipstick in a shade created by Kathleen Lights. I'm not sure of the shade, I will leave it in the description box down below. Fixing up the hair, and this was before I had my hair cut. And this is the finished look that I have created using the Festival Eyeshadow Palette by Juvia's Place. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for being here, and I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!